Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll show you how you can use uh, Visual Studio Code with GitHub Copilot and the Azure App Service extension to deploy an API to Azure. GitHub Copilot can uh, help you write code, but can it help you deploy a website? Let's find out. First, a quick overview of this application we will be deploying. It's a simple REST API with several endpoints defined using the Fast API framework. We have routes available, but I want to make sure that I fully understand what is going on. The key thing is just a Python app with a little bit of code and dependencies defined in requirements.txt. Let's run this application now and let's uh, trigger the terminal. So I know these uh, can run with a ubicorn uh, command and dash dash host 0, .0, 0.0.0 means it will bind to any IP address. And I know this is in the web out directory and in the main uh, Python module. So I'm gonna run this and see what happens. Oh, we're getting into a problem here because it can load the application. So I can actually go ahead and uh, tell Copilot to help me understand what the problem is. So part of the problem here is that we have an application and thanks to Copilot, I'm able to understand that I need to pass in the application. So the application is missing and uh, let's go ahead and pass that out. So once I run this, I'm able to uh, execute and the application will load. This is the fast API framework and Copilot was uh, helpful in trying to figure out what I could do to run it. So I'm going to ask Copilot here in the chat, what service can I use to deploy this fast API framework to Azure? So Copilot is going to grab the context and try to understand uh, what would be a good service to try to deploy this application. Great, so we have a, a good understanding now of uh, using the Azure App Service. So I'm going to uh, use that Azure App Service and install the Azure App Extension so that I can actually use it uh, from the extension. This is uh, very useful and uh, I'm going to be able to uh, try to deploy these uh, using Azure. So I'm going to go to the extensions and I'm going to type Azure App service, which will allow me to install uh, the extension and deploy later once it's uh, done and ready to go. So now this is installed and I can use the Azure App Service. Next, I'll have to go and configure the services so that I can actually go and deploy it. Now that the Azure App Service extension is installed, we are ready to start using the extension to create the resources that we need to run these. We can start creating one easily by uh, using the extension. I'm going to click on the Azure extension here and it's going to load my subscriptions. I'm going to use uh, this one right here and in App Services, which is what I want to actually create, I'm going to create a new resource. I'm going to click on Create Resource and I'm going to select Create App Service Web App, which is one of the ones that was suggested by GitHub Copilot. So I'm going to enter a globally unique name. This is needed because it's going to be a part of a URL. So I'm going to say Alfredo Demo Fast API. I think that's unique enough. I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to ask me to pick the runtime stack. You can use the very latest one, but I'm going to use a Python 3.10 for this application. I'm going to try out Azure at no cost. And so I'm going to select the free tier. That should be enough. And this is going to go ahead and create the web application for me using my subscription. And once it's ready to go, we're going to be able to deploy it without any problems. So this completed and you can see create a new web app Alfredo demo fast API. Uh, do you want to deploy it? And uh, I think we can try to deploy this and see what will go on. So yes, this is the travel weather application. I'm going to select that one. And uh, yes, I always deploy the workspace travel weather to Alfredo demo fast API. That sounds uh, okay, but I'm going to skip this for now. So this is going to be deploying and uh, this is going to take a second. It's going to zip everything up. It's going to put it all the way into the application and it will make it go live. While this is deploying, I am going to go to the Azure portal and check that everything looks okay. 
I'm going to search for app services in the search tab and I'm gonna click app services. And you can see here that I have Alfredo demo fast API. It's running, it's on the central US. It's the free tier that I selected previously. And if I click here, uh, I will be able to see some of the details. This looks uh, pretty good to me. And it seems that uh, the deployment has succeeded. So back on Visual Studio Code, the deployment has completed, so I can actually go and browse the website. So I'm gonna click on this button that will take me to the live website that is available on Azure. The Azure panel gives us a handy button to browse to the deploy site. So I'm gonna click on that one. And we can see our fast API docs page. I'm gonna try one of these endpoints and see if everything is actually working out correctly. So I'm gonna execute this and you can see everything loads uh, properly. So I can I verify that everything's been deployed to Azure. Back on Visual Studio Code, I also want to take a look at the log output. So I've asked GitHub Copilot that I want to see the log output for my deployed application that I'm using the Azure App Service extension in Visual Studio Code. GitHub Copilot responds correctly with everything that I need to do in order to do this with the extension, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions. I'm going to click on the Azure extension, then I'm going to find my subscription and find my service. I found my service, which is Alfredo Demo Fast API Container, and then I'm gonna click on Connect to Logstream. And here I can see that I have everything ready for uh, streaming the logs from the output. So Copilot was able to walk me through exactly what I needed in order to see this log output. GitHub Copilot was able to help us deploy this API to Azure using the Azure App Service extension. We were even able to tell the logs and find our way to where that exact option was in Visual Studio Code. Don't forget to check out our other uh, videos on GitHub Copilot. And as always, happy smart coding.